We get a ton of questions about the different graph mounting options that we have on the TB Nation website. So we're going to go over all of those things that you need to know today before you order your graph mount. So the main question that we get is what is the difference between the three different graph mounting options that we have? So we'll go over each one of them individually and most importantly, all of the measurements for each one. First and most simplest is our single graph mount and it is exactly what it says. It is for mounting a single graph and it is a single graph of any size that you want. Whether it be a four inch Piranha Max or one of the giant 27 and a half inch whatever is coming out nowadays from Simrad, you can mount it on this graph mount. I'm gonna say this about 23 times in this video Video, so get used to hearing it. All of the bottom of the graph mounts are exactly the same in width and in mounting location. Let's go over those measurements for you right now. So from the outside of this mounting point here to the outside of this mounting point, which is going to be the overall width is exactly 15 inches. The center of the mounting holes that are pre-drilled into these lower units or what we call risers from here to here is 14 and a half inches. The inside measurement from the bottom portion to this side over here is 12 and a half inches. That is the amount of space that you have to mount this up and over a trolling motor tray just like we have it here. We'll talk more about mounting them here in just a little bit. Let's finish up these dimensions first. From the top of your deck or wherever you're going to mount this to the top of this level on this and all the double graph mount risers that we're going to show here in a minute is four and three quarter inches. The width of this top mounting bracket up here is exactly 10 inches and they are five inches deep. So five inches from front to back. This hole right here is made into them so that you can run your graph wires down and back behind it. If you are searching for this on the website, this product is called the single graph mount. That's what you're looking for, single graph mount. Add this to your cart and this is what you will get. Now, let's go over the dimensions of the double graph mount. This is just called the double graph mount. That is all you need to look for when you're looking on the website. The bottom part, exact same dimensions, exact same size, exact same everything. The only thing that's gonna be different is this adds a place where you can add a second graph mount, which is why it's called the double graph mount. So if you measure this from your deck right here all the way up to this top mounting plate is going to be eight and a quarter inches and it's the same exact width it's 10 inches across just like the other one was this one is slightly less deep you're looking at about four inches so you're going to be five inches down here and four inches up here so when you're buying this graph mount one of the measurements you need to take into account is the depth of this thing overall it is 11 inches from the very very front to the very very back and that is the amount of space that you're going to need to clear whether you have a trolling motor up here or you have have something else mounted up on your bow plate you're going to need at least 11 inches of clearance to make this double graph mount fit now this graph mount is designed to hold any two screens that are up to 20 inches in total combined screen width so for instance if you want to run two tens you can do that you can run a 10 here and a 10 up here if you want to run a 9 and a 10 you can do that you can run an 8 and a 10 you can run two eights you can run an 8 and a 7 what you can't do is run a 10 and a 12 and that is because the amount of space that these things have what will happen is you will wind up having one screen that is going to overshadow the other screen so let's just say you were to put a 10 down here and a 12 up here where this 10 is going to be the 12 is going to be too big and it's going to cover up the front end of your screens it will also limit the amount of adjustment you have in between the two screens you may not be able to pull them all the way up or lay them all the way flat without them covering each other up now if you go with a graph that is smaller than eight inches one thing you need to be aware of this one has two support brackets back here on the back and a lot of the newer graph mounts the gimbal that you're going to be mounting to this they have mounting points that are pre-drilled that are kind of small and close together you want to make sure that you check that you're not going to be drilling into these before you make your holes now none of these come with holes pre-drilled not the single graph mount or this double graph mount you're gonna have to drill your own holes in here to make your particular graph fit but just be aware that there are two support brackets back here and you want to try not to drill into them if possible a seven inch Lowrance graph is the only one we've seen that has really really close mounting points and actually falls right on top of of these two supports here in the back so that's just something to be aware of it's not a big deal if you want to offset them just a little bit so that you can get a screw and a nut and a bolt through here just be aware there is two support brackets back here that you need to watch out for now this graph mount is called the gen 2 graph mount it is a little bit more robust than it is designed to hold bigger screens 
This one right here, the one we just went over, is made out of eighth inch material. This one is made out of 3 16 aluminum. So it can definitely handle the extra weight of bigger size graphs, your 10s, your 12s, your 15s, and even on up to 20s and bigger if you want to. You want to make sure that you don't put such a big graph on the bottom that the screen actually interferes with your cup holders if you have them in your tray like this or if you have a foot pedal up here you don't want their screens to be blocking your foot from getting underneath them and on top of your foot pedal to operate your trolling motor so the most confusing part of this particular graph mount right here for customers for whatever reason is how it actually goes together it is very very simple so when you order this from us it's going to come in two pieces just like this this bottom part is what we call the riser this is what's going to go over your trolling motor tray or you can mount it up on the bow plate of your boat it's really customizable you can put this in anywhere you want. But this is going to face you. Where this cutout is, where it's got this little back cut right here, that is going to face you. This piece up here is called the cradle, and this mounts just like this. There is pre-drilled holes already in this thing. You can mount it forward if you want. Some people like to do that, but the way that we prefer to do it is to mount it a little bit further back. There is sets of holes on each side, so you can mount it in either side if you want. We prefer to run it on the back side. That way it gives you more room right here to run a bigger graph screen without interfering with your foot or your trolling motor tray, cup holders, or whatever else you have installed on your boat. It comes with a bag of hardware. You're gonna simply bolt this thing together. You can use self-tapping screws or bolts to put this into your deck. So let's solve the great mystery of how to mount two graphs on this little device here. What I've got is two bottom units for a Garmin. These are Garmin and sevens what i'm going to be using just for demonstration but you can use bigger sizes if you want so i've got the gimbal and then just the base for the graph here so normally they would both look exactly like this what you're going to need to do to mount this bottom one is you're going to have to take your head unit or your bottom mounting point off and you're going to need to flip this upside down then what you're going to do is you're going to have your top one up here and your bottom one right here and both are going to mount just like so what you're going to need is a bolt, a nut, and a couple of washers that's going to start from the top, go through this gimbal, this mounting point on your graph. It's going to go through there, through the riser, through this graph mount here on the bottom, and you will put your washer and nut on the bottom side of this. Now, if you're running two of the exact same graph, like two Garmin's like I'm running right now, more than likely they are going to have the exact same mounting hole, so this will be super simple. Now, if you decide that you want to run two different kind of graphs, say like a Garmin up top and a Lowrance on the bottom, more than likely those mounting holes are not going to match up. So one or the other graph mount is going to have to get drilled through in order to make all of these mounting points work. That is also the case if you're running different size graphs. Let's say you're running an 8 on the bottom and a 12 on the top. Just remember that the mounting holes may not line up, so you're probably going to have to drill through one of these brackets or these gimbals in order to make these two mount together on the new Gen 2 double graph mount. Now the dimensions of the bottom section, just like with the other ones, is exactly the same. It's only slightly thicker. The other ones are eighth inch. This is three sixteenths. Now you will have a couple of different measurements on the actual height of this. This one from the floor or your deck up to the top of this is going to be 11 and a half inches, and it's not going to be as deep. This one is only seven inches from the front to the very, very back of the graph mount, but because it's elevated up a little bit higher, usually clearance on the back side is not an issue. The only thing you will have to watch out for is the actual graph screen itself and you'll need to take that measurement into account. Now you'll notice that this particular graph mount that we're using for demonstration has a few things on it that the other graph mounts did not have. No big deal, you can add these accessories to any of the graph mounts that we sell. All the ones I just showed you, the single graph mount, the double graph mount, and the Gen 2 double graph mount can all have a tool holder on one side, which will hold a couple of pair of pliers or whatever types of tools that you use for fishing, a cup holder, and also over here on the back, you can add in one of these GPS puck holders. This will hold any of your GPS pucks that you need for your graphing, like the Lowrance puck, the Humminbird, or the Garmin. Garmin doesn't make one, I've been corrected. Now, if you buy a Gen 2 graph mount, the holes are already pre-drilled in this thing to match the mounting holes for the cradle for this, so you don't have to do anything. But if you order the single graph mount or the double graph mount, as you can see, they do not have holes in the top of them, so you will have to drill holes in it in order to get the puck mounting plate to fit onto these. But all of the graph mounts come with holes pre-drilled in the side so that you can add a cup holder or a plier holder to them when you place your order. Now, if you're looking for the cup holder and the plier holder or the puck holder or a combination 
combination of any of those, you can find those on the website listing for each one of these products. For instance, if you're on the single graph mount page, all you need to do is scroll down just a little bit over on the right hand side, there will be a little drop down menu that says add cup holder, add plier holder, add cup and plier holder, and all of the combinations in between. Now here's a little secret for you. If you add these products at the same time that you buy your graph mount, you save just a tiny little bit of money. But if you're one of our existing customers and you already have one of these graph mounts and you need to add them to your cart, you can do that as well on the website. We do have single listings for those as well. Now, when you add on the cup holder and the graph holder, this thing does get just a little bit on the bigger side, so let's give you the measurements for that. The overall width of this thing is gonna be a little over 21 inches, about 21 and an eighth inches wide, and if you add the puck on the back, you're gonna be looking at about 11 and a half inches in total depth. Now, at the time of the filming of this video in April 2023, we do not have any other options on these right now, but, we have listened to our customer base and we've had a lot of people ask for bigger graph mounts with more rise and more room for the guys that like to wear their gigantic work boots while they're fishing and they need more space in between the deck or the pedal on your trolling motor tray up to the bottom of this. We are working on those, so stay tuned. We will have a video up on those as soon as they are available. Now, if you want to get any of these graph mounts that we talked about today, we have a link for those down in the description box below. Make sure you go check those out. If you have any questions, anything that we didn't answer, I tried to think of all the phone calls and emails and everything else that we get every single day. And I think that covers everything. But if there was something I forgot, leave a comment down below, or you can reach out to us at either one of our store locations here in Georgia at Tiny Boat Nation Southeast or up in Illinois at Tiny Boat Nation Midwest. Graph mounts, yay.